In the headlines this week, thanks to the heatwave we're experiencing at the moment, Germany is running out of beer bottles. So let me begin this video with a general plea to all Germans and all visitors to Germany. When you've drunk your beer, please remember to return the empty bottles and get your deposit back. Thank you. The stereotypical German loves beer, of course, and German wines and spirits are legendary. But particularly for Americans, and especially for you youngins out there, this raises the question, what are the laws and rules surrounding alcohol in Germany? A lot of young Americans ask about this and are particularly looking forward to finally being able to drink alcohol legally. So yes, it's true, you really don't have to wait until you're 21. There are two types of alcoholic drink, those produced by fermentation, so that's beer and wine, and those produced by distillation, which is pretty much everything else. There are slightly different laws for the different types, and the logic here is that it's very difficult to give yourself a fatal dose of alcohol if you drink beer or wine. You're very likely to pass out or throw up before you can poison yourself. You can legally buy beer and wine at the age of 16. Everything else becomes legal at the age of 18. And be prepared to show some form of official ID with your birth date on it. If you are 14 or 15, you can legally drink beer or wine if you are accompanied by a parent or guardian or by an adult with your parents or guardian's permission. In addition to all that, you cannot legally be sold or given alcohol if you are already obviously drunk. One of the things that surprises some Americans is seeing Germans openly drink alcohol in public. There's no hiding of bottles in paper bags, no attempt to disguise the fact that you are drinking alcohol. That said, some cities may have local ordinances banning the public consumption of alcohol out of doors in certain places at certain times, usually at night. This isn't because there's anything wrong with alcohol as such, but more likely because there were complaints about antisocial behaviour or broken glass. So those are the laws. What about the unwritten rules of social behaviour? Obviously, these are more vague, and the exact rules are going to vary depending on the exact context. But the general rule is this. Drinking is perfectly normal. Being excessively drunk is frowned upon. There has been some concern over the last 10 years or so about the apparent rise in the incidence of binge drinking among the young. And it's not as if no Germans ever get drunk. But even so, on an average Friday night in an average German city, you're likely to find far fewer loud drunks than you would in, for example, a British city. Usually you drink to relax and enjoy yourself, not as a race to see how much alcohol you can ingest in the space of an hour. If you reach the point where you're waking up residents with your singing or picking fights with strangers, You've gone too far, and most Germans will not be impressed. On the other hand, if you prefer not to drink alcohol, or if you feel that you've already drunk enough, then that's fine. Order a non-alcoholic drink. Only an idiot will think less of you for that. If you do arrive here hoping for your first taste of alcohol, take it easy. Remember that you are in a foreign country and you don't want to wake up in a drunk tank or a hospital bed. That's bad enough in your own country. In a foreign country, it's many times worse. And if you do end up in a drunk tank, you will be billed for it. I read one article which calculated that if you were so drunk that it took four officers to bring you in, you could end up owing them 272 euros. And I now realise that I am beginning to sound like your dad, so let's just wrap this video up now. So at 16 you can buy beer and wine, at 18 you can buy anything, have a good time but drink responsibly, and that's pretty much all you need to know. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to send me a postcard, here's the address. And don't forget to visit my website and follow me on Twitter and Facebook. Also, if you'd like access to special bonus content and help with the costs of running this channel, please consider making a small monthly donation on Patreon.